from the mountain tops in Israel, all the water flows through the Jordan River and ends up on the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea becomes a Dead Sea because wala nang dinadaluyan ng water. And how do I jump start? Is if I do not become the Dead Sea. That I should start blessing someone to be kinder, to be generous, to give. When Jesus said that no one will be able to see the kingdom of heaven not unless that he is born again, in explain to ni Jesus that this is not something physical but spiritually. So, ano ba yung dapat na mapakinggan natin? It should be the word of God. Ang hirap talaga if you do it on your own flesh. I think it's first understanding I live and I was saved by grace and now I live under the grace of God every day. Other people would preach it, do more, try harder. But I think for us to jumpstart, we have to understand Jesus did it all for us. And it should be that overwhelming response to that love that we get to jumpstart. This podcast is powered by Podcast Network Asia and Podmetrics. Welcome to the Narrow Door Podcast, guys. Come on in. It is our first episode for the year 2021. Happy New Year. We're not feeling it because as we're recording this, it's still December. Okay. <laughs> My name is Sam, and of course with me, Brother J. Paul Hernandez, who is a preacher at the feast. We have Pastor Dennis, who is head pastor at Victory Green Hills. Instructor Harold Resho is instructor at New Heaven and New Earth, Shinshanji Church of Jesus. Guys, all right, we are doing how to jumpstart your spiritual life. Is it a predictable topic? Absolutely. But I think it's necessary for the January feels. Also, I feel like 2020 being the year that it has been, um, I feel like it's taken a toll on us, not just in our lives, but in our internal lives as well. And I kind of wanted to check in with you guys, talk about how we can get a jump start on things um, this new year and all that good stuff. And yes, I just said it's still December as we're recording this, but I feel like, I don't know about you, I'm like, I'm so over 2020. I'm so excited to turn over a new leaf. Let's start a new chapter yesterday. So let's do that. First question though. Um, did you guys feel like you took a hit spiritually this 2020? How did you fare with all the challenges this year? Mm. By the way, I need to acknowledge, sorry. Pastor D is in the car while we are recording this podcast, okay? <laughs> It's an airplane ako, actually. I'm in an airplane now. I do you <laughs> <laughs> uling, uling. First of all, you know, this whole podcast format for me was such an adjustment because I was coming from my traditional media box and it took a while for me to adjust to how casual all of this is in a podcast. Right, especially now, I think with everything shifting online, we all just went on Zoom and started recording these conversations, and that's a podcast. And to me, that was a huge jump from where I was coming from. And now, this we have Pastor Dennis who is in a moving car. Literally, guys, if you are watching us on YouTube, he is in a moving car, and I'm having anxiety, but I also admire this commitment that is commitment. <laughs> Oh, sabi nga ni Brother J. Paul before we started recording, yan ang, yan ang, yan ang lalaking hanapin mo, Sam. Yan ang, that's the kind of commitment that you want to look for in a partner, my goodness. All right. Yeah, nire-raise ko yung audio, but then my looks naman can carry it. So, <laughs> yung, yung humility na lang. Let's just work on the humility. Okay? Yeah, the new you. But you sound really good. This is not bad at all. It's kind of it's kind of entertaining even like that we have a moving backdrop there. Yeah, actually sa isip ko lang like ha, kalho wala na may covid pa. Bakit ang traffic? Ang dami po <laughs> eh. Oo, oh, oh, guys, grabe ang traffic sa labas. Naka-move okay. on na, naka-move on na ang tao. 2021 na. Kaya nga eh. Okay nga, so let's talk about it. Pero I really want to check in cuz I just thought, you know, I'm a lay person. I'm allowed to fall apart if I wanted to, because 2020 has been really tough. But you guys are in leadership positions in your church. Did and, and you went through the same things we did. But because your job is to lead people and guide people, 
despite everything that's happening, it must have been extra tough for you. Do you feel like you guys took a hit spiritually in 2020 as well? I'll start. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um, I never lost hope. But there were many bouts of... <sighs> I don't have a term for it, but, you know, I guess the sound explains it. Like, for example, before, you know, a friend of yours is going through something. Worst case scenario, you visit them sa burol. Or you cry with them. You embrace, with, you embrace them. You're, you're there. But the pandemic, we've, we've had so many feasters lost somebody they love or we've lost feasters and what we can do attend a zoom funeral that's it and that was so painful you know because christ's church was made to be physical we are the hands and feet of god and and this is just really this pandemic is attacking christianity as a whole because we're not allowed to gather. We're meant for it. So yun, yun yung more of like napipiko na ko, nagkakar na ko ng anguish, anger sa COVID. So more of more of that. And Lord, mm-hmm. ano ba to? Yung, yung, uh, yung, you want to take control eh. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung pandemic kasi showed us that whatever control we have in life is an illusion. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm sure a lot of yeah. people felt that way. Absolutely, yeah. Pastor D., well, I think yung 2020 was... Because life is like parang hills and valleys. Mm. No? And I think 2020 was something like that. There were highs and there were lows. So para siyang... I, I'm not sure. Maybe the valleys now are... Ano, longer. Deeper. <laughs> 2020, I was, it was parang ang tagal nito. Ah. But at the same time, very hopeful for what God has been doing. I think... I've said it in the podcast before. We've been stripped off of what we felt like were essentials in the past. Which for me, you know, ako, I'm a messenger of wanting life to be more simple. Like uh, doing Zoom on a moving car. Because life is really that simple. I, I don't need the mic. You know, and I think it's the same way with life. Na parang, that's what God taught me this last year that 2020 was really stripping off of the excesses of life and learning how to live life simply with family, with church community, and with God. Yon. You know, this is remarkably not bad. Like, I am surprised. The setup that you have going on right now. Next week, next week, try oh. natin. natin. Ito, uh, Zoom background to na updated version. <laughs> Manila traffic. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's your turn. And sorry, about, Sam, sorry, sorry, yes, Sam. yes. And by the way, I met Sam O, a person I've been looking up to for many years. Oh my god. When goodness. I was in elementary, I and now know. we're working together. <laughs> Please. The best year of my life. What else could I ask for? Mag nagbagong taon na po. Let's repent of that. Yes. Pastor D? No, but I I was actually going to ask you, like, you had highs in 2020. Mm, You know, what what were your hills? Like, what were your highs? My highs? I think that one, the simplicity. Parang, you know, I was trying to find freedom, the freedom of simplicity. And it's so hard to find it if there's so many extras in life. And when you're stripped of it, parang, wow, kaya naman pala, di ba? I think all of us can actually live simpler. And I think that's that's one of my highs for me. And I think, yun nga, sabi ko nga, in spite of the quarantine, I met you guys. I think that's a high for me. If I have three new friends, 2020, kayong tatlo yun, kasi wala na ako nakilalang iba. Yeah. Yeah. Diba? Parang I think that's something, it's not an accident that we guys are in one pod, podcast for how many episodes already and uh, in spite of the differences that we have we actually enjoy the conversations it's not work for me Aww. I forgive but, you for that elementary joke earlier but okay. si Lodi Sam no I, w- I mean I will get into you know all that cheesiness later because yeah I have I have something to say about the podcast as well and the role it played in my year uh, but before I get to that, Instructor H, how was it for you spiritually, 2020? 
I think even without the pandemic, it's already challenging. So plus the pandemic, it's extra challenging for us. Um, uh, we had so many things to adjust. Na parang suddenly biglang hindi pa di maggather, tapos hindi an and daming bawal. And I think what's good about us is that we um, we always try to look for the solutions. Then some our problems that meron tayo surrounding us. Pero yun nga, it takes a lot of effort para ma- mahanap natin solution and, and try to check if this is working because sometimes the the solutions that we find is something that is not working. So until you you found that um, solution that is working for you, I think uh, yun yung medyo mahirap. Uh, I I think yung additional na, na struggle during this time or during this year. Mm. Was it a good year for ministry, though? Because I feel like when people are struggling, they also turn to God more. And I remember, like, in a past conversation, how Pastor Dennis was talking about, you know, one of the best places where people are most receptive of our message is a funeral because they are faced with the reality of death. And I think in a year like 2020, where we were faced with a pandemic, our own mortality you know, this danger of a virus that was constantly around us. Did you find that it was a good year for ministry? That looks like a no. Ang hirap na na. Oo. Siguro, I, I want to start. Kasi medyo iba-iba yung ministry, di ba? Um, the, for us, when it when we talk about the ministry of um, sharing the word, because the way we share it is through the... Um, education or through the centers that we have. Before we have physical centers, and uh, maliit lang yung center naman. We cannot accommodate more than 50 people one at a time, uh, w- uh, all at the same time. But when everything became virtual, naging advantage sa amin na now we are able to open centers with hundreds of students uh, each month. So, parang with that kind of perspective. That became an advantage for us. Pero, yun nga, iba-iba yung mga ministries. I think, um, siguro isang challenging din doon. And when we share the word, um, um, especially for, for some members who are not uh, tech savvy, they had to learn how to use Zoom or how to go online just to hear the word of God. Because nga, we're not able to gather physically. So, everything went online and yun. Merong mga certain adjustments. So, Challenging in some parts, but also there are advantages that we are able to experience. Yeah, yeah. What about you guys? Yeah, I think it was hard for ministry. I think ministry got hit 2020 because we're a gathered congregation, right? So as much as I love Zoom and thank God for technology, nothing beats face-to-face. Talaga. I think I we can't do shared lives by just being online. It's a supplement, but it's never the main thing right so parang ano lang tayo ngayon parang nagpaste tayo sa supplements while not being able parang parang uminom ka ng food supplements pero hindi talaga malungga yung ininom mo di ba o kinain mo parang um, I may do with this knowing that there's next year right. where we can come back stronger yeah. yeah yeah how about you brother Jay how did you feel about ministry this year I mean, the positive thing is that we were able to really move yung talagang yung goal namin of doing the feast light as a whole was good. We were able to finalize, finally push it talaga, and get every uh, all a lot of people on board. But yeah, it was strong. Tami. Ngayon nga yun isip ko ang ngayon kilang ako bisitahin yung stock room namin sa Green Hills eh kung okay pa ba yung gamit eh. Hindi magano yung centers namin kilang namin check. But even the malls can't, you know, can't uh, take care of us. Gamit pa lang yun. So, paano pa yung tao? Yeah. Iba kasi yeah. yung ano eh. Iba kasi yung magkasama kayo. And, and just really, again, the, the suffering, the struggle that everyone went through. But, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like a severe agony in the garden for us, prolonged. Um, but, you know, looking forward to God's resurrection in this. I mean... I think yung pinakamahirap siguro somebody as a leader is that those people that blame God. Kasi hindi mo maupuan. Kasi usually kakapi kayo, kwentuhan kayo, friends, pero wala eh. And 
And the thing is, you just hold on to faith that God allowed this for a reason. I mean, this, this, this pandemic did not come from God, but He allowed it. And at the end of everything, or during this, yung glory pa rin yung mag-reign supreme. Eh. Just looking forward to that. Oh, me too. It, yeah. It's just said and done though. <laughs> Absolutely. No, and I mean, you know, yes, we are starting a new year, hoping to turn over a new leaf, hoping for a fresh start. But to be completely honest, I mean, it's a new year, but we don't know when the, the actual change with our situation is going to come. But I think we're definitely looking forward to that with the start of a new year. I think just reflecting back on what it was like for me as a Catholic practicing my faith in this new normal, I didn't realize like so much of my faith life was tactile. You know, as a Catholic, I love being in a church. Like we have beautiful churches and you're receiving communion and going to a priest to, you know, to do confession. And so much of it was like about me going somewhere and like physically experiencing something which was taken away during this time of the pandemic. Um, But I think with the online arrangement, there were some perks too, like, you know, joining a rosary group or meeting with my light group. And this podcast though, I think was the most significant thing where aside from, yes, forming new friendships, meeting Pastor Dennis and Instructor Harold, having these weekly conversations with you guys has been so enriching for my faith life and just dialoguing through the different things that we have. Um, You know, I don't want to get like too cheesy about it or anything, but I have a new interest in like say scripture now and a newfound appreciation for it, a curiosity for it. And just also learning about like other people's faith, you know, when I admire so much of like, you know, where Pastor Dennis is coming from, where Instructor Harold is coming from. It's been such a great experience. It has been the highlight of my 2020, to be completely honest, no cheese involved. Okay. So having said all of that, let's get to the good stuff because yes, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, okay, how do we do this? I, I do want a jump start in my spiritual life. Um, where, where do we start? <laughs> the seed. We start with the seed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we going to have more seed in 2021, Instructor A? Oh, magtanim na tayo ngayon pa lang. <laughs> Sabi nga ni Harold, the beginning was the word. Word. Word, oh. Word. Grabe, kumota ka na ng 2020 ng word, ha? Pero I, I think... <laughs> no, uh, I think kaya siya laging, I mean, lagi akong I'm talking about the word because siguro ganun ko lang talaga, ganun ako kay in love uh, with God. Di ba... Ito, napakinggan ko lang sa ibang friends ko. When you are in love, yung kahit saan ka tumingin, makikita mo yung taong mahal mo. When you are eating, makikita mo. <laughs> so parang ganun din. Hindi <laughs> totoo yun. <laughs> Pang six months lang yun. <laughs> Panay Netflix ka na kasi, kaya ganun yung mga sinasabi mo eh. Ayun you have to experience it, to know, to say it. Ayun, kwento lang naman sa akin, Pastor. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung gano'n ka totoo, pero yun. Uh, but basically, <laughs> yeah, um, I just love God and I so love His Word. Kaya siguro in everything that I do, I always try to incorporate Him and I want to make sure that uh, I am with Him. Uh, ganun lang. But uh, ano yung question ali? Nasa na tayo? <laughs> love. Love. <laughs> ano rohan ano sa love? Oh, pwede rin. Um, Next jump question. Starting, yeah, jump starting our spiritual lives ah, this okay. 2021. How do you suggest we go about that? Mm, jump starting. I think uh, when when we talk about jump starting something or when we have we want to try something new or starting fresh. Uh, meron akong kwento sa Bible na laging lagi ko na alala. Um, I think you're familiar with Nicodemus and, and Jesus. 
um, Nicodemus was one of the Pharisees during that time at marami siyang alam sa scripture. Pero I think meron siyang intention doon na he want to start something new. That's why on uh, during a night time, he went to Jesus and have this conversation with him. Tapos yung something interesting doon ay sinabi niya na we believe in you that you are from God because you are performing these miraculous signs. Na with the miraculous signs that Jesus is doing, parang yon sobrang na-amiss na siya at naniniwala siya sa Diyos, uh, nanagalan siya sa Diyos dahil doon. Pero uh, yun nga, na there is something new na gusto niyang simulan. But also, I, I want to add something to that na are we parang the kind of believer na parang um, masasatisfy na lang dun sa mga miracles and signs na nakikita natin around us. Kasi, come to think of it, when Jesus came um, at the time of first coming, it's not only to per- it's not only for him to perform miracles. Actually, kung titingnan natin sa ministry niya after doing the miracles, let's say, nagpag, uh, he was able to um, yung five loaves and two fish, after doing that kind of miracle at nagpakain siya ng napakaraming tao, it's It's just like a, a medium for him to share the word. And kaya ko lang naala, naalala tong conversation between Jesus and uh, Nicodemus is because when Jesus said that um, that no one will be able to see the kingdom of heaven not unless that he is born again, being born again is like we are um, doing a fresh start of our lives. Na parang panibago. Pero inexplain to ni Jesus that this is not something Um, physical, hindi yung born again physically, but spiritually. So when we are starting fresh, parang sometimes it's not seen right away. Yung changes natin, makikita natin um, within us. So just like kunwari, yung, yung knowledge or yung faith na meron tayo, um, it, it could change base dun sa kung ano yung yung napakinggan natin or this is something na important kasi again ano ba yung dapat na mapakinggan natin it should be the word of god and uh, i'm sorry yung word of god na matatanggap natin it's like yung seed yung imperishable seed yeah ganyan <laughs> na, if you remember last time na basa ko yung first peter chapter 1 verse 22 to 23 yung imperishable seed coming from god is the living and enduring word That is coming from him, and I think for us to have that jump start in our spiritual life is really to go back to the word, and um, yun yung magiging malaking tulong for us. I think the language of like being born again in the Bible very relevant nga naman itong sa jump starting your spiritual life. Mm. Um, uh, I don't, but like when I hear born again, automatically my my connection to that is the born again Christian church. And so, when you say being born again in the Bible, like, do you mean parang being recreated into a new creation mm. <laughs> or something? Like, being renewed by the word, I think, is what you're saying. Tawa? Yes, there should be change. Yeah. May makikitang pagbabago sa'yo. Kasi kapag when you see that you are born again, there should be a change that uh, that can be seen in you at... Yun nga, um, sometimes hindi kaga directly na makikita yung pagbabago. Um, it's some, sometimes the transition would start from within and then saka lang mag, makikita sa mga actions natin. Just like, uh, yun nga, yung, yung knowledge natin or even yung faith na meron tayo. If we are born again spiritually, then we need to have that deeper understanding of God. I, I believe we need to have that deeper understanding of God, a stronger faith with Him. And then eventually, from that, mag magsho-show na siya dun sa actions natin, something that is seen physically. Parang mm. siguro, para lang more relatable, Pastor D and Brother J, um, your wives, um, si, si oh. Tammy at saka si Viv. Diba, if you know kung ano yung pet peeves nila, you will make sure na hindi mo gagawin yon Because kapag hindi mo alam yon at nagawa mo, maapekto yung relationship nyo. So, kaya with that kind of knowledge na, ah, okay, ito yung pet pet peeves niya at hindi ko dapat to gawin and all. So from there, magsha-show na siya dun sa actions mo na hindi mo na talaga siya gagawin when you truly understand it. Kaya parang yun, um, somehow that's how I can relate to when we are being born again or or when we are being changed. It's not only 
um, a change within us, but also it's it reflects in our actions. Mm-hmm. Dapat may follow through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor D, what do you think? How to jump start? Come on. Yeah, ako, I go back to Paul's message in Galatians when when he reminded the church, you started off in grace, you have to live by grace. Parang wag niyong kalimutan where you, you can't forget where you came from, that you were saved by the grace of God. And that grace kasi overwhelms us, diba? And that's what he fought for in Romans, in Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. He's always talking about this grace kasi pagka we try to live it out on our own strength, you can't jumpstart. It's like New Year's resolution. Mag-gym na ako. Buti na lang ngayon, sarado mga gym, diba? So, diba? Or hindi na ako magsasoft drinks. No, tapos after three weeks, may nagdala ng coke sa bahay, di ba? So parang ang hirap talaga if you do it on your own flesh. I think it's first understanding I live and I was saved by grace and now I live under the grace of God every day. That's how you start reading the word eh, or start doing spiritual disciplines eh, when you understand it's all by the grace of God. Kasi pagka ano lang siya, yung parang mag-gym ako or pa- pag-resolution siya, it's not gonna last. Yeah, I'll give you six months, di ba? Yung, oh, this year, I'll be a better Christian na talaga, Lord. I promise, I'll do my best. I'll try, I'll try. You know, and I think that's the, that's what, that's what other people would preach, eh? do more, try harder. But I think for us to jumpstart, we have to understand Jesus did it all for us. And it should be that overwhelming response to that love that we get to jumpstart, you know? Sa tagal ko ng Kristiyano, I've tried doing it in the flesh. I've tried doing it in my own strength. And I end up just being frustrated because I cannot really, parang di ko masustain. It's when I started living under His grace that I understand, wow, sarap pala maging Christian. No? Ang sarap na itong, when, I call that my reawakening. You know, when, when I became a Christian, sobra akong naiyak kay Lord, talaga nagbago ako, binigay ko buhay ko kay Lord. But then along the way, from Lord, thank you for what you you done, I started asking the Lord, Lord, ano pang pwede kong gawin for you? Naging performance-oriented ako sa Kanya. And I think that na-burnout ako doon, eh. doon ako napagod. And I didn't last that long. I was living in sin, I was active in church, but I couldn't sustain the lifestyle of m- doing religious things in according to the flesh. So when I jump started, it was really parang binasag lang ako ulit ni Lord na it's really by His grace, everything. Me being a father, me being a husband, a pastor, parang who am I to be a guest of Sam? Oh, who am I? Right? Pero totoo, parang grace lang talaga ni Lord na I'm being used of God. And I think living under that knowledge every day, parang mas mabilis eh, parang mas maluwag for me. Uh, rather than you know having a checklist of what I need to do to prove myself to God, because I don't need to prove myself to God, because He loved me, you no, know, and He's loved me fully. He can't love me anymore, more than what how He has shown His love for me. Yeah, yeah, and you know I think a year like 2020 really highlighted the fact that. Like what Brother J. Paul was saying earlier, this sense of control that we had over our lives, a year like 2020 showed us that there's really so little that we can control or do. And yes, shifting things back to the grace that we receive from God Mm. and focusing on that. Yeah, that's a good one. Brother J. You're on mute naman eh. Feel na feel ko na eh. Oh. (laughs) Uh, uh, na ano ako kasi na bless ako na sa very light group eh, no? small small group <laughs> bless ako na stuck ako sa word eh na kasi January 2020 I was reflecting I'm learning a message mo sa akin mm. it was really about divine intimacy just, parang ano mo si Sam I'm very action oriented eh like Lord I wanna do this let's do this to, like, project tayo Lord ganyan Pero talagang pinaramdam, January pa lang, sinasabi ng Lord, hindi I just delight in you. Yun. Alam mo yun, parang, I guess I see this with my son eh. When I look at Gray, I'm delighted. Wala pa nga siyang ginagawa. Misa nga, may laway pa yung bibig niya eh. I'm just delighted in him. 
and and sometimes you know just uh, just really found forced to be delighted with God to be intimate with God. So now as I enter 2021, I was reflecting because we're preaching on. You know, maganda si when you're preaching. Before ma bless yung tawik, kung muna kailangan mo ayusin yung internal struggles mo. Eh. So we're we're preaching about the mountain tops in the Bible. So we're talking about Sinai, Eden, um, Ararat. Nagbibig pang apat na kalimutan ko. So, uh, anyway, um, Moriah. Moriah, yeah, that's right, that's right, Moriah. Pinatubo. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it, it just we're just preaching the whole December 2019, 2020. Sorry, about mountain tops that God meets people on mountain tops. Tapos dito, ito ba ito yung reflect ko? From the mountain tops in Israel, all the water, especially winter time, flows through the Jordan River and ends up on the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea becomes a Dead Sea because wala nang pinu- wala nang dinadaluyan ng water. So the 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 saline talagang tumataas. So, talagang, so it just really made me reflect na O nga, no? God blessed me noong 2020 but according to His will and not mine. It was according to His schedule and not mine. And how do I jumpstart? Is if I do not become the Dead Sea. That I should start blessing someone to be kinder, to be generous, to give. Because God is a giving God. There is so much more in this world. You know, it's funny. Medyo meron akong ano eh, gigil sa mga word, oh, manifest this in your life. Hindi! Kasi yung tatay ko, mayaman. He has everything. He and he owns everything. So, siya nang bahala and he will provide. So, you don't actually need to manifest because you ask from your heavenly father and siya nang bahala and, and he is in charge. So, what do you do? You just keep on giving. Why? Because, um, Everything comes from the mountaintops of God. It, it flows through your life. And the more we bless someone, the more we be kinder, the more we become patient, the flow just flows. There is just, there's just blessing in, in abundance in our life. So for me, it's really sharing blessing and kindness and goodness. And as you give in faith, more this 2021 i promise you si lord bahala sa iyo talaga ibang klase bumawi ang dios ganda no ang ganda nung ano let's not be the red sea like the stagnant water right and i think maybe the tendency in a difficult year is yeah to just kind of hold on to whatever you got uh, because i don't feel like this is the time that i could be generous but you're saying that no we're going to entrust things to god and do as we do as Christians. Um, and you'll see that the grace, again, the grace will flow down to us, extend to other people. At least I think, yeah, that's what we should be aiming for in 2021 anyway. I understand if like in 2020, you were still trying to figure that out because we obviously didn't know like how long this was going to go on and stuff like that. And, you know, with 2021, honestly, we don't know how things are going to pan out still. But yeah, if we're looking to jumpstart um, our spiritual lives this year, that would be a good attitude to go into this. When do, when you guys need, when you guys feel like you need a spiritual jumpstart, what, where, where do you go? Because like, I would go to you guys, but where do you go? Wife. <laughs> Talaga ba? Talaga? I mean, we have a... Uh, I- <laughs> And for me, I have a, a light, a small group. So I go to my small group, safe, safe, safe brothers. Um, you know, go to your place. We, you know each other. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Pastor D? Ako Harold, unahan nakita. Ako I go back to God and His Word. <laughs> no, I think that's my first ano muna no. Unang takbo ako talaga si Lord muna, lalo na when I feel like, oh Lord, medyo discourage ako before even calling my friends uh, k- kami muna ni Lord ano ko muna ako sabi ko muna si Lord kung bakit ako ganito but how come I feel a little ano far you know I go back to God I, I pick on the word and I meditate on maybe a scripture 
and see if God's going to speak to me. And most of, almost all the time naman, God speaks. Na. Parang may conviction pa rin na parang, o nga no, Lord, ako to. It's on me that I feel far and I need to jumpstart. And then I call my friends. <laughs> yeah, and then we pray together. So sumbong ko lang, oh, ganito guys. Ito yung nangyari sa akin ngayon. At least uh, there are a few people that I talk to. Yeah. Instructor H, my wild guess is yes, you're going to say the word, right? <laughs> <laughs> Medyo ibahin ko. Pero I, I, felt, I feel like I need to jump start whenever I feel I'm complacent with, with what I know, with the word, and also it's more of a combination. So going back to the word and also to meet with friends. Uh, but be, most specifically, um, uh, yung usually na nilalapitan ko other Bible instructors or yung mga kasama ko sa na nagtuturo din na word because usually doon din ako nakaka um, nakakakuha ng strength na ah okay so this is how they do it and um, yun yung nakakapag-boost din sa akin and yun na parang kung titingnan ko actually yung jump start ng spiritual life ko um, kung titingnan ko siya in in mula na nagsimula ako hanggang ngayon it's more of i felt that jump start when i actually understand the word and was able to act upon it mm-hmm. parang ganun mm-hmm. yeah yeah well guys i hope you keep tapping into that you know whatever your source of strength and wisdom is because i'm going to need it and our listeners and viewers are going to need it as we start another year of conversations uh, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'm still, I'm, I'm glad that we're, you know, all still here. And um, if you guys want to check them out on other platforms because they have their own things going on, Brother J. Paul has his own podcast, the J. Paul Hernandez podcast. And of course, you can catch him on The Feast, which is online. Pastor Dennis has, of course, um, Our Parenthood, which is a parenting podcast, which he does with his wife, Tammy, Big Bro and Friends, which got picked up by a cable network. Um, Also, Victory is online and New Heaven and New Earth has free Bible classes online. You guys have open worship that you invite everyone to and there are webinars. So check all that out. And here is to um, a great start, a great positive start to 2021 with the OG cast of the Narrow Door podcast. And if you guys want to get in touch with us, we appreciate topic suggestions um, tell us how you guys are learning along with me on the show, the Narrow Door Podcast at gmail.com is our address. Pastor D, I really appreciate your commitment to recording today in the car. And then, yeah. Nong bayad. See you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>